Hey, what's up guys? I'm out on a little pre-race spin. We, uh, we raced this afternoon and uh, yeah, just trying to warm my legs up. I've been doing squats for the MVDP challenge and my legs are a little sore, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, I, I never feel perfect on a race day and you probably never will, but uh, that's fine. But what I really wanna talk about in this video is I guess it's kind of just a, a general rule of thumb for how I think you guys sh should approach making decisions that impact your, your cycling career. So the example I'm gonna use is how I chose my sports drink, what I put in my water bottles for training and racing, everything like that. So when I first started out, I would basically just like look up what my favorite rider was using or what they were sponsored by and then just buy that. So if you think about it, that is like the worst way of going about this decision. Like I, I read all these books about how fallible the brain is and how we all have like cognitive biases and we think we're really rational, but we aren't. And just buying what works for Matthew Vanderpool or whoever is completely irrational. <laughs> So I took a step back and I was like, okay, how should I do this? So I bought, I think like four or five different sports drinks. I bought like some Scratch, um, some SIS, uh, I bought Gatorade, and then I just had normal table sugar. So I, what I did was I would rotate through each of them um, at, a fast group ride. I was uh, living down in the South Bay, so I would do Alviso with one of them. And I would just kind of like take note of how I felt. And what I actually found was the, uh, the, the like purpose built cycling um, sports drinks, a lot of them had like sugar substitutes in them, like Stevia and I think Malitol is another one. And what I found was those actually upset my stomach and I had been drinking them for years. Um, and I think I just kind of like took it for granted, like, oh, this is just part of training hard. You get like an upset stomach. But when I switched to the sugar, I didn't, it went away. So I think the lesson is just remember <laughs> the, uh, the rational way of choosing and making decisions for cycling is to test them and to, to be a little more analytical about it than just, you know, buying what works for Matthew Vanderpool and then uh, hoping it's the same for you. I guarantee you, Matthew Vanderpool has done this. I'm sure he's tested different sports drinks and I guarantee you he has what works best for him, regardless of whether it's his sponsored um, sports drink or not. <laughs> like. If sugar works for him, I bet you he just rode Powdery Bay with sugar in his bottles. So just keep that in mind, you know, if I tell you to do something or if Trainer Road tells you to do something, go test it first because what works for me um, and works for those guys may not work for you. So I guess just summarizing things is be a little more analytical about your cycling, you know, slow things down, test things like we all are our own little test lab um, and we have these great things called fast group rides or training races to to go out and see what works you know this uh it applies for strategy it applies for nutrition it applies to tapering strategies everything um you know just go out test it maybe make a little note i know strava has like a little place you can make notes or just have a, a little Google Doc. That's what I had when I was testing um, sports drinks. And yeah, just uh, be analytical. Don't uh, fall for the trap of just buying what works for the pros because that's exactly what they want you to do. And uh, they don't really care if you win your races or not. I do. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Wish me luck in this race this afternoon. It's gonna be fun. Uh, we have a crit today and a circuit race tomorrow, so another double header makes editing videos hard. <laughs> but alright, see you guys in the next one.